good morning YouTube welcome back to the Bison Workshop I'm Bob and I guess it's that time to just go ahead and do this ring and pinion on my truck I didn't want to do a video on this but somebody asked me to so I'm going to try my best uh, like I said I'm so wore out on this rear end it, it's just it's not fun no more it's, it's actually pissing me off that I have to keep touching my rear end. Uh, this is the last time I'm doing anything to this rear end. Um, it's just a damn shame that it didn't already have the right ring and, gear, uh, ring and pinion gear in it to begin with. Uh, but I'll show you what we got here. I've had this for, well, ever since I started, uh, when I first got the Dana 70 rear, uh, I ordered this and still digging myself out of a hole over this. <laughs> so we'll put you down here and show you what we got. All right. We have got Dana 70 354 ring and pinion set. got our ring gear and let's hope that this is the right one because I've had it for so long they're going to look at me like I'm crazy when I want to in the back. And then we've got our pinion. So there's them two. So I'm not wasting my battery too much. We'll go ahead and meet out at the truck and we'll show the step-by-step -step process I guess on how to do this all right guys first thing we need to do is do some preparations we know that we're going to lose fluid out of this we don't have to take our wheels off. All we gotta do is take this loose, pull that out just far enough to it takes the splines out of the rear end. So we'll do this to both sides. We already know we're going to lose fluid. So, uh, I need to get a socket, get all the tools ready. Uh, I think we need an inch and a sixteenth on the, the yoke, and I think that's five eighths. All right. Well, I think the first thing I want to do is go ahead and take the pan off. Uh, the reason I want to take the pan off is to get as much fluid out of it as possible. Uh, that way I don't have so much run out here because if it's a little off level, it's going to run more to this side because it's lower than the other side. So we'll just drain the pan for the... Uh, door first.
All right, so now let's take this to the bench. We'll get it cleaned up. All right, so now the first thing we need to do is check everything and make sure we got the right stuff. Uh, this is the the new ring and ring gear. And it looks like it might be about the same size. Uh, I, I'm almost certain it's correct. Uh, this here, it looks the same too. Let's read what it says. Dana 70, 354, and you got a date on it. I would imagine this is it. That just got somebody signed it or something. So I would imagine them numbers have to match for this to be a matching set. So that's a uh, 117.280. 117.280. So I guess that means that these two numbers have to match for this to be a matching pair. Alright, so now we've got this cleaned up the best I'm going to clean it up. Now we're going to go ahead and put this gear on. Make sure all the surfaces are clean. And no burrs. So now we're going to set that right there in the center. And we're going to line up the holes as we're sliding that up on there. This part is done, so now we're going to take these off and just set them aside and then we're going to press this off. Alright guys, can anybody explain to me why in the hell the person who made this frickin' pinion would not make a gap big enough in there for you to put a plate in there so you can put it in the press and press that off of there. That was the stupidest thing i ever seen in my life, to not give you enough room to put a plate in there. So now I don't know how I'm going to get this off. Alright guys, I ended up having to take it to a shop and I was going to go ahead and buy a new bearing, but we can't find one, so uh, this is the old pinion, and I'm going to tell you, that thing was on there, it took him forever to get that off of there, but, so now we got that out of the way, so now we need to press the bearing 
onto the new pinion. Alright guys, we had a slight problem. Um, this is the old one, the uh, 410 ring or pinion, and then we've got the 410 ring behind me here. It's too heavy for me to lift in sight. You just have to take my word for it. Uh, but I had a hell of a time getting this bearing uh, saved. Um, I didn't have any way to press that off because it takes a wedge type to go in there. <coughs> Damn it. And I went over to uh, a transmission shop over here. The same people that was going to charge me 160 bucks for a uh, drive shaft lengthening and this time I talked to a mechanic uh, over on the other side and this guy was pretty cool his name was Dave I told him I was going to mention him in my video over there A and A transmission Dave stand up man uh, guy knew that I was in a pinch and, and I could tell that he knew that and uh, he pressed that off of there for me for nothing man uh, he saved my ass and uh, then I had to go get a seal and believe it or not that freaking seal was 18 freaking dollars I about lost my mind I could have got that online cheaper but I need it done today so Anyway, so now we've got that. We've got three shims here. We've got two thin, yeah, two thin ones. Well, one's a thin one, and the next one's a little thicker, and then the next one's a little thicker than that. Uh, and that's all that these this one gets. It doesn't get a crust sleeve, and I was so praying I wouldn't have to have a crust sleeve. I just I just don't feel comfortable messing with them crust sleeves so we've got the bearing on the, uh, the pinion and we've got the, the gear on the rear end so now we get to take it out and install it all right guys Let's see if we can't uh, put this back in. Now it's just a matter of uh, taking it for a spin and seeing if it's going to make any noise without the drive shaft in it. And I guess we'll just drive it until I get the drive shaft fixed or lengthened and uh, drive it in front wheel drive and that will help work this in. Uh, so it seemed to work okay. It was a little 
a uh, little tight, but you know, it's brand new. It's never been wore, so it's going to wear in. So there was no crust sleeve on it, so that was one thing that I didn't have to worry about. It's shimmed. So, but there we go. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Dare I ask what you think? <laughs> anyway, uh, y'all have a good one. Later.